Okay, this will be an interesting one. It's a bit boring, to be honest, as a as an original, but we'll make it look interesting. Going to go back to this style of demo, something I haven't done very often lately. Going to make it yellow. Yellow, the happy colour. I love that happy colour. We're going to leave out the contrast. Going to drop this down there. Wondering, we're going to leave that. We're not going to use the contrast or this and the hue. I'm actually wondering if we're just going to cool it down a bit. This will be an interesting one if we can make it look good. It's a boring colours, it's a very neutral sorts of colours, so I'm hoping to make them look a lot better in this way. Let's see how we go. We've got here Tajay Golden Days. And we've got on the back again a similar neutral shit. I hate neutral colours. I don't know what people see in them, honestly, folks. Why would people want to just have shades of brown and shades? I like brown, mission brown, but I don't like everything to be like shades of fawn and brown and pinky, apricot type pink, that sort of shit. I don't like it. It's not my cup of tea, I'm afraid. <laughs> I just don't like those neutral, so-called neutral colours. They just don't appeal to me. <laughs> anyway, we've made these neutral colours look a lot better now. That looks really good, even though we've still got the price tag, which looks ugly. Uh, we're not going to worry about it, so I'm wondering where the centre of our job is going to be. Maybe we can get rid of the tag by just cropping that area on the, on the copy. So we're just going to switch over the copy paper. We're going to put this on the recycle pile and we're just gonna uh, try our best to make this look really really something so we're gonna just take this and we're gonna put this up like that we're gonna put the edges just overlapping the A4R and the, A the A5 area so we're just gonna find the A5 area that's it there that's that one there we're gonna overlap it and this one there. So we're just going to overlap it just a fraction. And let's see how we go. Now we have to just uh, switch off our negative to positive because this is really, these neutral colours have worked out very well as a negative image, which is really nice. It's nice to see that. Now we have to just bump the density up high and we're just going to drop the brightness in the middle. Hue is going to remain in the centre. So I think we've got that set. And we just have that in, again, we're using the same enlargement for this. Only just to crop the image. Take out the parts we don't want and keep the bits we do. So let's see how this turns out. Uh, it looks a bit grainy, but I think it's because we've got it light. We don't want it too dark, so I'm wondering where the centre of this job is actually going to be. It's going to be there. So we're going to make this look really nice. Out it comes, it's our second piece to our job. Now this bed is a little bit wrinkled, so I'm just going to try and stretch it a little bit to get rid of that bumpiness to make this a little bit easier to present, make it better presentation, hopefully. So this, unfortunately these papers are lifting or they're curling, which is a problem I've had a lot lately.
I think we got mirror image. I think we just put that in. Oops, I'm just being a bit careless. So these are our, our neutrals turned into nice colours, nicer colour scheme, yellow and yellows, blues and all that sort of stuff. Something nice for a change instead of the, the blah, blah, blah of neutral colours. I don't like neutral colours, as I said. Uh, I just don't find them particularly stimulating. I just like bright, pure colours, not fucking blendy, sort of yucky stuff which neutral is to me. Anyway, that looks really quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.